on my speed edit. Uh, yeah, someone requested it, so I figured why not. Um, it was wasn't too hard to make, so we'll get into it. Um, pretty much what all I've done to this clip here is I've just twisted it at one speed for about a second and a half, a little over that. Um, you guys can make it however long you want it. It's totally up to you. Um, now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna make a new composition to actually make the HUD. So call this HUD. Make it like um make it two seconds long that sounds about right because this is just a little over a second and a half okay so now we're going to go up to here to our uh masking tools and i'll go to ellipse tool i turn on my title action save so i can click in the middle i'm going to click and then i'm going to hold shift and control and drag out Did everyone hear that click and then hold shift control and i'm going to go to about this like line in the middle um this line at the top of, like not the top line but the second to top line um on the shape layer we are going to keep the fill as red yeah we'll keep the fill as red um no stroke on it we'll just duplicate this um and then now we'll drag this out actually we'll drag it in and we'll make the fill on this black ah uh -huh, you starting to see it you're starting to see it. <laughs> Yeah, it's really easy so far. Um, like I said, I'm not very advanced with this, so my HUDs aren't insane. Um, so now that we have that, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to pre-comp these layers. Um, if you can also go, you can highlight the layers, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll just call this Pre-Comp One, whatever. Um, now we want to make the little triangles that go around on the outside. So I'm gonna get rid of the title action safe. I'm gonna go to Layer, New, uh, Shape Layer. And I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to go to the polygon tool. And I'm just going to draw a little polygon. I'll hold shift so it's straight. And then on this, I'm going to go down to the polystar, polystar path, and change the points to three so we get a triangle. I'm going to change the fill to the same red that we had on here. So take your eyedropper and make it the red. Um, so you can just close this up now using the selector tool. I'm just going to move it to the top of this. And I'm going to actually change the anchor point by pressing A and then moving this around so the anchor point's in the middle. You really need to do this. This makes it a lot easier on your cells. Right up there. Okay, so now that the anchor point's in the middle, we'll just drag this to the top. See how this looks? Um, Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now on this, we're just going to want to duplicate it. And um, I'm going to move it to the side a little bit. Hit R for rotation and rotate it a little bit, just so it looks about right. It's a little bit above the other one, so I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. I think that looks right about spot on. So now we're going to take these two layers, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, Pre-Compose them. Um, and now on this one, we're just going to hit R for rotation. Oh, my bad. We're going to want to duplicate this layer, hit R for rotation, and just rotate it. And you see it kind of goes down really nicely. Um, so then pre-compose these layers now. Oh, what did I just do? Pre-compose these layers now. And then hit R for rotation. Or, I'm sorry, again, duplicate it. Then on the second one, hit R for rotation. Just try to match up the spacing about how it looks. Um, duplicate it again. I'm just going to do it because it looks like it's going to match up. Ugh, it's just going to miss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my pre-comp and find the original shape. And then I'm just going to bring it back onto the HUD, and now I'm going to fill this spot in. Because sometimes it's really uneven, and there's really no way that I know of to fix that. So if we look at this now, it looks pretty good. Just going to bring this out just a tad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, so now we have our little HUD thing. It's not too advanced, like I said. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so now we're going to take all these layers pre-compose them and yeah uh, go to rotation hit the stopwatch go all the way to the end and then change this number the first number to one so as we go through here it spins around only one time we don't want it spinning too fast because we want the people to see what's happening otherwise it just looks stupid so I'm gonna close up these pre-comps and go back to the my main composition with my thing I'm going to drag my HUD in and now you can see we have this ugly black thing, so we're going to go to our effects and presets and search up uh, lin linear, hang on, linear key, hang on, what is it, 
Um, something here. I don't exactly remember what it was. Hang on, I'll be right back in a second when I remember what it was, because I'm drawing a complete blank. Hang on one sec, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I, I completely apologize for that. I was <laughs> drawing a complete blank. But you wanted to look up color key. I knew it was something key. Um, you want to look up color key and drag that onto your HUD and then press the eyedropper tool and get rid of that black. Now, if we, if it looks bad right there, but if we go on full, you can see those black edges are gone. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to take this and we're going to scale it down. Not too much. I've gone a little over overboard there. Um, so now that we have that scaled down, I don't, don't call me a copier of Baker because I'm not copying Baker when I do this. And I know a bunch of people are out there going to say, Oh, you're a fag, you copied Baker, but, um, whatever, get, move past it. Uh, go to toggle switches and modes and change this mode on the thing to add. So now it looks kind of like see through -y. Now we go back to toggle switches and modes and then change this little cube thing and, and toggle it so we get a 3D layer. We're just going to move this down by the scope and change the Y rotation just a little bit, probably like negative 5-ish. And we're going to move it in on the Z axis until it looks just about right. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to position this and we're gonna we're gonna do like like make it so when the scope moves it moves also. So we're gonna hit P for position and then go all the way to the end. Maybe we can trim this up because obviously we don't want it for one there. Go all the way to the end and move it a little bit. So if we glance at this now, it moves with the scope, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and pre-comp this layer one more time by hitting Command Shift C, or Control Shift C. I'm sorry. And now that we have this pre-comp, I'm just going to trim it up by holding Alt and the brackets. And now we are going to have to turn this to Add again. My fault on that. Just change it to Add. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a mask, so it's like behind the scope. So we're going to go onto this. We're gonna, on the HUD comp one. We're going to Grab our pen tool and make sure we have this selected. Uh, one second. Okay, and then now we're going to want mask around the scope. Whoops. Um, I recommend you guys being more precise than this as I'm just doing this quick. But be as precise as you want. I recommend being super precise. As that always makes it look better. Um, so that's, I guess, all I'd say. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It's a little more advanced than I usually do. Um, I usually, I guess some of my tutorials have been a little more advanced, but these are usually, they're usually a little more catered to kind of beginners. Okay, now that we have that, we're just going to come up here and connect it. And now that we see that looks completely ugly, so we're going to hit MM for our mask. And on the add button, we're going to change this to subtract. Now you can see, hey, it's going around the scope. That's so weird. Um, <laughs> yeah. So... If we wanted to, we can just change the position on this because sometimes it can be ugly, and it can not be not be right. Um, so, if you want to change the position, you're more than welcome to. Um, but I'm not going to do that because it's too late. When I want to dump my mask, you can just go into the pre comp and change it through here. But yeah, that's that's how you do that. Um, so now that we have our mask here, we're just going to come up. And you see how it spins here, but the mask gets a little off, as you'll probably see. As we click on the mask again, obviously that's off. And we want to double click on that and move it up. You also can adjust it if you want, but it doesn't look like, actually, it does need adjusting. Okay, so you can just drag this down. So, yeah, like I said... You would probably want to have this so that this isn't showing and it's more behind the scope. But that's all up to you guys. I'm just going to, I guess I'll, maybe I can change the scale down a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's too late. Um, Like I said, I recommend you guys changing the scale so that this is behind the gun. You don't see that. Because otherwise it just kind of looks a little tacky. Like you can see it all the way around. Um... But yeah, that's that's really it. Um, it's it's as simple as that. So don't say I copied Baker because I I didn't. But 
according to this, our mask needs more. Because we didn't keyframe the mask path. Okay. We're just going to go to the end here. We forgot to keyframe the mask path. So now I'll go back to the beginning and put it back to how it was. And I did not mean to do that. Oop. Well, here's how you change it back to uh, your workspace, your standard workspace. If you guys didn't know how to do that, so that's a thing. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll go back to this. Um, so that's fit right there. If we double click on the mask, we can just move this. So, like I said, maybe we can even move our mask if we want. So it it looks like it's going behind the scope. I don't know if that'll look good. Um, but it's all up to you guys. It's all up to catering to what you like, to what you see, to what you think looks good. Um, like it, it, yeah, it doesn't really look good. Uh, let's see if we can add a point here. You can just make this try and look a little better. Yeah. Okay, well, that's enough fidgeting for it for this tutorial. I've wasted enough of your guys' time. Um, but anyways, please just like the tutorial if you want to see more of these HUDs type things. I'll get better at them. Um, as this is really the only one I've ever done. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, fidget with it so it looks right. Um, this doesn't because it's a tutorial and I went too fast. Um, so I'm sorry, but I, if you guys want to see it, you'll be able to see it in the TES Team Taj when that releases. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check y'all later. I'm out. Peace.